Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about stuff that you didn't ask for. We are going to be talking about the outside anatomy of a scorpion. Now, all scorpions are basically the same, so um, I think they're pretty much all the same, really. So it really doesn't matter um, how we discuss them. We're just going to go over it. So we're not going to cover every piece of anatomy on the outside of a scorpion, but we're going to cover the basics at least. And we're going to start from the front and work our way to the back. So, Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about are the mouth, mouth parts. And on him, or on old scorpions, they're located right in the center of the jaw. Right. Forget it. Right there. And these oftentimes look like little claws themselves. Uh, there, you can see them sort of right there. Um, and these are used to tear up the food prior to taking it into the mouth. Um, these are called chelicerae. I will put the name into the video. Next are the pedipelps. Now, in tarantulas, the pedipelps are used for feeling around to find prey. Um, in the case of a scorpion, the pedipelps are actually their pinchers. And they come in different forms. Some pedipelps are thin, semi-thin anyway. And some are quite heavy. And they also have, very often will have hairs on them. And those hairs are used to find food. The heavier the pinchers means that they probably don't rely so much on the venom um, to kill their food. Next is the cephalothorax. And just like in spiders... This is a combined area that has the eyes on them, and they're really hard to see, but the eyes are right here. Um, yeah. And this is the combined thorax and head region. Scorpions, just like spiders, have eight legs. One... One, two, three, four. Each of those legs. Oh, sorry. The abdomen is called the opisthoma. Anyway, I will put it into the description. <laughs> the tail is made up of segments called metasomal segments guys okay so between the fifth segment ooh, that's breaking off one two three four five so between the fifth segment and the stinger is where the anus would be And the stinger itself is made up of two parts, the telson, or the venom gland, which is this part here, and then the stinger, or the oculus. And again, I will put that into description. If you look on the bottom of a scorpion, which most of us probably never do, there are two feather-like things. And very often, those are constantly in the contact with the ground, those are called pectines, and these are used to figure out the world around them, to sense it out. And I could probably do a whole video more on the anatomy, but I'm not going to. Um, so that's the end of our video for today. Talk to you peeps later.